Hello, and welcome to today's video making tutorial. Today's tutorial is How to make an animated GIF from a video file for free. First, we need to go to www.easygif.com. Then, go to the Video to GIF tab at the top on the page in the menu bar. Then, select the Choose File button and select the file you want to convert to a GIF. After you have chosen your file, click Upload Video. Then press Convert to GIF. This may take a little time for the conversion to happen. When the video is converted to GIF, you will see it below your original video. Right click within the new GIF and click Save Images. Save to your computer. After you have saved it, you can import it into a video creation app, such as Toonly or even PowerPoint. A few tips for getting the best results. The harsh truth is that the GIF will likely never be as good as the video you made it from. That said, don't be discouraged, depending on what you are trying to create the loss of quality won't be too noticeable. The best thing to do is experiment with three things. 1. The GIF size. As in the resolution of the GIF, for example, 480p, 720p, or 1080p. 2. The length of time the GIF plays for. As in how many seconds does the GIF play for before starting from the beginning. The longer the GIF the larger the file size. 3. The frame rate settings. The more frames per second the higher the quality but also the larger the file size. For example, if you are going to use your GIF for video for social media then you could probably go a bit smaller in size, but higher in frame rate for better quality. Or, if you wanted to go up to 720p in size, you might want to cut the length of time back to only a few seconds and then just repeat, or, duplicate the GIF many times over in your video editing software to give the illusion of a longer GIF. In addition to this, a lot depends on your internet connection and the software you are using. Especially with hybrid applications like Toonly, which are working both as an installed application, and an online one at the same time. It's best to remain patient while larger GIFs upload and convert for the software to use them if you have a slower internet connection. Unlike PowerPoint, which will import your GIF almost immediately as it is a desktop application and internet speeds are less important. I hope you have found this tutorial helpful and I welcome your comments and ideas on making better videos together. Please subscribe to the channel and join the I Love Creating Videos and Animations with Apps Facebook group. I will put a link the description below. And as always, have a great day.